Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday Self Care with me. Um, today I thought it would be really really nice to do uh, an at home pamper so we're going to go for a little bit of a spa style facial today. I um, don't know about you guys but something I'm definitely missing over the last three months is having that going somewhere and having um, somebody treat you, make you feel relaxed, spoil yourself um, and come out feeling amazing. So I thought it'd be really nice to do something similar at home. Um, I've got loads of things out here, all looks a little bit busy. Um, so these are things that would be really good if you get these things kind of ready before you start. Um, so that you're not kind of constantly backwards and forwards. So, so set yourself up a little station. It could be in your bedroom, in your bathroom, um, wherever you feel comfortable. So I've got a bowl of warm water. Um, and this is to wash off our cleanser um, and our face mask and scrub when we get to that point. I've got a lovely bowl. Pick nice bowls. Why not? Um, so I've got a lovely bowl here and I've got some rose petals and some lavender from out of the garden I've popped in you could pop a drop of um, essential oil in if you have that or you could pop a, just a drop of your favorite bath um, oil or bubble bath it's something that smells nice so that because we're going to use that for steam so I've also got super prepared flask of hot water to do steam with um, so that's that bit. I've got a towel, a couple of face cloths. Um, I prefer to use face cloths to remove cleanser and things like that um, rather than cotton wool pads because you know it's a bit more eco to use these. You can just pop them in the washing machine. Um, I've made a little face mask here. I'll pop the recipe down in the comments um, or the description thing. So you can make one yourself. If you've got your own face mask, fab, use that. Um, that's just honey, oats and lemon. I've made a little scrub with some sugar and some oil. Um, just some almond oil that I like to use. I to use um, oil for doing face massages and things. So it's quite nice to combine them with sugar and use that as a scrub. I've got a cleanser, a toner and a moisturiser. Um, ooh, and a glass of water with some lemon slices in just to keep myself hydrated during this. Um, what I think would be really nice is if you spend 15 minutes just having a relax before you start this. So you could um, go off and make yourself a nice fresh fruit smoothie um, and just sit somewhere quietly, put some nice music on um, and have 15 minutes without kind of phone time. And you know, so if you've got the children at home, see if you get someone to look after them for you for a little while so that you can spend a bit of time pampering you. Um, you could go and have a soak in the bath, that would be quite nice. Pop your big fluffy robe on and get that full on spa experience then. You might have a glass of fizz, um, that would always be nice. Uh, meditate, you could pop a meditation on. Just do something just to really kind of calm yourself, relax and, and just kind of get in the moment. Um, where you're going to give yourself a, a real good pamper. So um, I think we'll start with a few deep breaths. Um, I think I need to breathe and get myself in the zone. So we're just going to inhale and exhale. The last one, make it the deepest inhale you've had today. And the longest exhale. Okay, I'm going to grab my towel because I'm probably going to draw it all over myself. I would suggest that you have a towel out. Um, so I'm going to start, I'm just going to dip my hands in this warm water and pat this over my face. And then I'm going to pop a little bit of cleanser on. Like so. 
let's not just slap it on, let's do something a bit special today. So we're going to cover our palms with our cleanser. We're going to start at the top. Your hand's going to be in a little prayer position. And smooth that out. Cross the face, the chin, and the neck. Then we'll come back up and we'll just do some nice circular motions just to help that cleanser work into the skin and give yourself a bit of a massage at the same time because this is your at home spa. We've got a slightly firmer massage in areas like down the side of your nose because they can get Quite rocky. A bit lot of um, secretions from the skin there. And if you get um, you sort of tendency to oil, you make sure you pay a bit more attention to those areas. I'm just going to dip my cloth in the water. Dip it out. And then I'm just going to lay that on my face for a second. And then use that to wipe away the cleanser. So we're nice and clean now. So we're now going to use um, a facial scrub. So this is literally just um, caster sugar, just a couple of teaspoons in a little dish. Um, and I've just added enough almond facial oil just to wet it, just to make it. You probably won't even use, you won't use all of that. So you can save it if you've got a little screw top jar um, and you can use that another day. Oops, never mind. <laughs> I've lost a bit. I'm just going to rub that in. This is why you need a towel. And the sugar is a really, if you use caster sugar, it's a really gentle exfoliator for your skin. Um, and the oil, obviously, it's going to nourish and also help to cleanse at the same time. Just take care, don't go it over your eye area. It's likely to be exfoliating our eyes. Gritty eyes is not good. And then always remember to include your neck. quite nice to have a little pot of this scrub handy because you can use it um, in the shower to scrub your body um, you can use it on your hands to give your hands a scrub and also because you've used oil leaves them feeling really nice and moisturised afterwards um, and it's a bit kinder for the environment as well because a lot of scrubs have got microplastics and things in them which aren't great for our oceans so this is really nice really simple a little bit of sugar and some oil so we're going to grab a face cloth again. And just use that to remove our scrub.
you're going to need to dip that in a couple of times. Make sure you remove all of that. going to use a mask. Um, obviously I don't think you're going to want to sit and watch me with a mask on for um, 10 to 15 minutes but I would suggest that that's what you do. So pop your, when you've popped your mask on lay back, that's why I said have some music on, have some candles lit and you can just check out. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on. Again, we're going to avoid the eye area. I'm just going to pop a little bit on our foreheads and our necks. Mm, that smells amazing. I could just eat that. <laughs> it smells like breakfast porridge with the honey in. There, so I'm going to start off. There, I appear to have lumps of. Uh, sugar scrub stuck on my arm <laughs> and my face is a bit like a flapjack but I don't know if you can see I've got that on and it'd be really nice just to pop back you could even pop a couple of cucumber slices on your eyes um, and just lay back and let that do its work oats are really softening for the skin honey is really nourishing um, so it's just a lovely, lovely, simple face mask. But if you've got a favourite face mask, pop that on. So I'm now going to remove this. This might not go well. We'll see. So make sure you've always got plenty of flannels, face cloths and towels <laughs> handy so you don't have to rush off in the middle to grab those. Face is feeling really good now. Um, I'm sure that if I'd laid back for 15 minutes it would be even more amazing. Okay, so I'm now going to give my face a bit of a tone. Um, I know a lot of people like to pop their toner onto cotton pads. Um, just got a drink, sorry. But actually I've discovered recently that it's really nice, either if you've got a, a spray bottle tone to just spray it over, and that's lovely as well on a really hot summer's day or to just sprinkle a bit of your toner into your hand and press it on and again there you're not having to use cotton wool pads don't forget your neck and just make sure we've pressed that on all over I'm going to have a bit of a steam. Um, I've got some hot water in here. Like I said earlier, I've got rose petals, a little lavender stalk. They should smell amazing when that hot water hits them. And you've got your towel handy. Oh, it's got bits of oats on it. Not great. 
and then you do do steam. Some people have got those uh, nice fancy electric steams, which is um, quite cool. So you could pop one of those on if you've got one. Um, if you don't like leaning over a bowl with the steam, some people like to put a towel over their head while they're doing it. So just kind of, you know, like that and, and inhale the steam, but you can do it without the towel. You're still going to get those steam benefits for your face. Don't make that water boil in. Um, it needs to be hot enough to produce steam, but not boil in. Or you could even dip um, dip a clean face cloth into the hot water um, and just lay that on your face for a minute or two and then re-dip it and pop it on. So I'm just going to sit at that steam. God, that smells amazing. No wonder the bees love the roses in my garden. I'd ideally spend three or four minutes just having the steam. And then I did this the wrong way around. Should have toned after my steam, not before, but it doesn't matter. I don't think it's that prescriptive, so just place a little bit more on there. And the tone will just help to ref refine the pores. And it's also really fresh feeling. And the final step. So we're going to moisturise. And we're going to, we're not just going to slap it on. So we're going to put the moisturiser on our hands. Place. In the neck. to rush these things take our time so hopefully um that's inspired you to have a go doing yourself a spa treatment at home um you know and i definitely recommend having a go at making scrub a mask yourself um and if you know if those recipes don't suit have a look online because there's lots of different different things you can make and use to to kind of pop on um, and use as a special treatment um, yeah and then I think when, when you're finished just have a, have a few minutes have a few moments just to really relax so go to sleep always the best thing to do go to sleep um, yeah hope you enjoyed lots of love Mwah.